Almost three weeks have passed since the Liberals won a majority government in Canada's 42nd federal election. Since then, Justin Trudeau has been sworn in as our next Prime Minister. The new cabinet has been chosen. And yet, the Liberals are still saying they will legalize cannabis. Could it really be true? Will the new government keep their promise? According to the nation's newly appointed health and justice ministers, the answer is yes. Justice Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould, BC First Nations leader and former Crown Prosecutor, told CBC News that while her party hasn't discussed a specific timeline, cannabis legalization certainly is a priority of the new government. She says her ministry intends to look at best practices to ensure that they're making informed decisions with respect to legalization and medicinal cannabis. Similarly, Health Minister Jane Philpott, the first doctor to hold the position, told CBC News that the Liberal platform is very clear in terms of its evidence-based approach to addressing marijuana. Philpott said that as a physician, She's very much in favor of a new approach that will keep marijuana out of the hands of children and young adults. She added that the Liberal government will have more to say about cannabis legalization in the near future. With the Liberals holding the majority of seats in Parliament, and the Conservative Party reduced to opposition status after nearly a decade of rule, the biggest barrier to cannabis legalization in Canada has finally been removed. Reform advocates can further take comfort in the fact that despite only being in power since November 4th, Trudeau and the Liberals have already demonstrated their commitment to upholding promises made during the election campaign, including gender parity in cabinet and increased transparency with the public and the media. If the first days are any indication of where the new government is headed, cannabis prohibition will soon be over in Canada.